<laughs> oh, I like that. We I have really our like Moselle that. Miranda here. She has a lot of energy. <laughs> okay, I'm ready to get this redness dyed. <laughs> 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 I'm getting fiery today. I'm getting fiery with you two. You're ready to go, She's ready. I'm ready. I'm with my best friend, Ariana. We've been friends for 13 years. And you can see how excited she is. This is the energy we need. Yeah. Are you ready to get started? I'm ready to get started. We need to get that swatch Whoa. out because we, we're going to show you what you're going to be doing because you have no idea. So we just launched the new Midnight Flame series. We waited a lifetime for this. You asked for it. We're giving it to you. It has the primary copper and secondary red color. It helps supplement our Midnight series which we have midnight love and you can mix it together to create a red copper so you're able to create natural copper brown tones nice cinnamon amber tones we can come over here and create like nice ginger tones fiery volcanic copper colors volcanic how do you feel about being volcanic would you like to do that um, one let's yeah. go whatever you want let's do it <laughs> I am ready. Okay, let's go for it. Let's go. Let's do it. I'm excited. Well, actually, this is the one I'm gonna. Do. Okay, yeah. This is the one I'm gonna do. <laughs> We're gonna go a little more natural on you because I still think about your eye color and your complexion. And unless you're really ready to go that route, we could go that route too. But I think this is a safe first step. And when you get acquainted with red and copper, then we might give you an option to go more extreme. How does that feel? I like it. I yeah. like your style. I trust you your trust judgment. Me? Okay. I mean, who else am I going to trust? It's time. It's time. It's time, it's to, time evolve. to do Miranda 2.0. Miranda 2.0. Okay, let's Miranda, go. let's go. Let's go. <laughs> it appears that you are a level seven. All right, let's take a look at the natural level finder. This is important. You know, you are a level seven. So you can see here, she's a natural level seven. This is important to have. Always whip this out, put it up to your client's head. She's a level seven. So you know what we're going to have to Combat. So what we're gonna have to combat naturally in her hair since she's a level seven is a little bit of that copper gold tone, more of a warm gold, a little bit of that orange will come through. So with her hair, we don't need to put that much Midnight Flame 7 to her hair. She's naturally gonna have a lot of red in there naturally, a lot of gold, a lot of warmth. So we're gonna let her natural red come through. And because she's a seven, she's not gonna need much. When's the last time you had color and highlight? 10 years ago. <laughs> wow. Over 10 years ago. Wow. Yeah. Can we talk about your natural money piece? Please do. Look at this. I know. These are my money pieces. Yes. Yeah. It's all natural. Mm -hmm. We're going to work with that. And when we put the color over your hair, everything will naturally be lighter on the ends because it's already lighter. So we're going to start mixing now. We just launched a new Midnight Flame series and permanent and demi. It's about time. Let me tell you. We need it. Now we get to do everything with Midnight Flame. You can make it more natural by mixing it with Naked Glow. You can make it more cinnamony and brown, mixing it with Twilight Dream, mixing it with the BB series, the NB series, the NI series. This is gonna be your everything and your go-to. You can fill the hair with it, do color correction. Boom, look at this. Look how beautiful this packaging looks. Just because someone has virgin hair, doesn't mean you just get a color, one tube, and slap it all over the head. Because guess what? It's not gonna come out even. Why is that, Ariana? Well, you have your warmth at your scalp, you have the cold shaft, there's a whole bunch of things in the light ends there. Porosity. Porosity. Everything. The money piece, her organic highlights that she has. So if you slap it all over, you're not gonna get even color. We're gonna mix a formula, one for her routage, one for her mid shaft, one for her ends, of course, around her face. So because the scalp naturally likes to glow, we're gonna do Naked Glow 9 with Twilight Dream 7. So there's gonna be no Midnight Flame there because her scalp is already gonna be hot. And we're only gonna use 10 volume here. All right, let's start mixing it. Okay, make sure you have a scale. Always, always measure. So we're gonna use Naked Glow 9 because because her hair is a natural level seven, when you're introducing permanent color, right when it touches her natural hair, it's gonna expose warmth. She's gonna be already copper. So we're gonna squeeze this full tube of Naked Glow 9. Naked Glow 9 has a gold blush beige tonality. So it's gonna look very, very, very beautiful, but we do want to mute it a little bit. So we're gonna introduce the Twilight Dream 7. Twilight Dream 7 has a brown gold base to it with a little copper. So. Even though it has copper in it, it's not full on copper like Midnight Flame. Midnight Flame is full concentration of copper red. This one is more of a brown base to it with a subtle hint of warm gold to it. So we're gonna squeeze about five grams just to create that shadow root 
so that way it won't glow right at the scalp. And what's really important is mixing the first formula with 10 volume. 10 volume ensures that you're not gonna get too much lift at the scalp because her scalp is hot, she's warm up there, it's gonna want to glow. So you always gotta go with 10 volume. Mix the equal parts here. We're gonna mix this right on up. So remember that permanent color lifts, expose the underlying pigment, then deposit color. It's not like a demi-permanent color. A lot of people think permanent color means the color is permanent and forever long lasting. Permanent color means that permanently alters your hair. And there's a difference between that and people don't understand, because guess what? Nothing in life lasts forever. Nothing is permanent forever. I know, it's sad. But what we can do is enjoy the time and live in the moment that we're in and live our best life while we're there. Right? Wow. You're really like speaking words of wisdom over here. <laughs> uh, uh, we, get deep, we get deep in this room. Uh, yeah. What did you say earlier like about it. hairstylists? You said oh something. yeah, they're like, you well, no, but we, when you're in the salon, you you know, you, you tend to kind of you really come talk. Yeah, you're yeah. cognitively and you're talking about your love life and you know, all this different stuff. All right, so notice how even though I'm doing three formulas, I'm only mixing and applying one as we go because you got to keep it fresh, right? Mixing as you go is important. So this is going to go right on her routage. You're only putting it about an inch from her scalpage and feather it throughout. I'm gonna apply this through our whole head and then we'll start mixing the second formula to apply to her mid shaft. This is gonna be so exciting. I love all your organic hair. Thank you so much. Uh -huh. I want you to take a look at how I'm sectioning her hair. I'm doing everything vertically and folding her hair over like it's a book, like you're turning pages. What you find is you get to have a wider space here to apply the color instead of trying to work against gravity because oftentimes we're trying to work against gravity, lifting the hair up. Up, putting the hair down and the hair naturally wants to fall but when you turn the hair like it's uh, pages in the book what you'll see is that the hair naturally stays put because you're already applying the color so you'll see that it just lace. It's like a pinwheel. You're just kind of wrapping around her head and applying. And Twilight Dream is one of my favorite shades. I know you're going to love it when you try it because it has that amazing warm brown tone. And adding a little bit of Twilight Dream into your formula is going to give it like that perfect warmth that gives you perfect balance. I use it in my gray coverage all the time. I put it in the NB series, the NI series. Is that one of your favorites here, Ariana? Yeah, it's a go-to. And then fold it right on over. And then after I finish doing this, we're going to go to our next formula and mixing it. And and you will see that I'm not mixing three formulas at once. And I used to do that all the time. And what you'll realize is that when you do that, what happens is that the color will sit there. The power will get weaker by the time you get to the second and third formula. And you know, especially if you're doing gray coverage, you can't just mix the color and say, oh, my client is gonna be here 30 minutes. And then when your client gets there and it's like, she'd be like, oh, I'm running five minutes late. And all of a sudden your color's been sitting in a bowl and it's weak and it's not giving you the gray coverage. And what happens is we blame the product, when it's really ourselves that we should know not to mix the color until the client comes. You want everything fresh. You want your food fresh. So you want your hair color fresh. Your, your client wants their hair color fresh, you know? Always think about using 10 volume or 20 volumes that you always have to level up. And this is how your client can't mix this themselves at home. They don't understand the formulation. This is what makes it professional. Oftentimes we always think like we're so worried about our clients coloring their hair themselves. We should not feel threatened by that because no one can replicate your formulation. And you can learn technique all day, but if you don't know how to formulate, the technique that you just apply won't mean anything. And that's why learning how to formulate is your key to supplementing the techniques you do. So if you want to base your client's hair and in between the foil highlights, you can now, but you have to understand how to mix the base formula in different parts of the hair, whether it's the routage, whether it's the mid shaft, you have to think about all these things. It's always about the recipe that makes the color look unique. And sometimes less is more. We don't need to do a thousand foil. We don't need to lighten or bleach the hair to a level 12 or 15 or 20. Sure, you can if you want to for certain looks, but now that we have more options and our clients are coming in asking for reds and golds, know that you don't have to whip out 100 foils. You don't have to do the most. So we're gonna do this and then we'll be back with the second formulation. Yeah. 
All right, so let's take a look at the routage formula. We already applied throughout Miranda's whole entire head. If you look very, very closely here, you can see a little bit of that warmth coming through on her routage, her scalp, a little bit of that gold. That's exactly what we want. It's gonna translate looking like a natural redhead, right? Our next formula, the difference is we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna use Naked Glow 9, but instead of using Twilight this time, we are gonna use Midnight Flame 7. Only five grams. Five grams of Midnight Flame 7 is all we need. Less is more. It's very, very potent. It's very, very pigmented. So it's gonna look pretty, pretty red without trying to make it look too animated. All right, so that being said, make sure you measure. Consistency is good. <laughs> Consistency, okay? Could you imagine like if everything's inconsistent? Oh my gosh. I'll be so stressed. All right, so next formula is Midnight Flame 7, only five grams to 55 grams of Naked Glow. Measure, this is why measuring is so important. I'm gonna use 20 volume. So remember her scalp was 10 volume. Now we're using 20 volume on the mid shaft. We need that energy, okay? The cold shaft is the mids and ends. We need that power, that oxidation. Okay, mix it equal parts. Okay, we're gonna whip this right on up and we're gonna apply it to her hair. All right, so I already applied the mid shaft formula on this side and you can see it's turning a very nice natural ginger. All right, so you can see here, I am choosing to incubate each section as I go. You don't have to, honestly, you could just apply it all over. Formula one, two, three, just apply if you want to, but the incubation does help the acceleration. So remember that. So notice I'm still going vertically, tracing the pattern. I'm leaving the money piece out because the money piece area is where I'm gonna wanna transition into 30 volume because that extra 30 volume is gonna give it that energy so it looks lighter and brighter. It still looks natural because her hair naturally has the money piece. So you want to mimic what her hair naturally would do and also leave the ends out for that third formula. So this is where Midnight Flame is gonna be your best friend. Know that you have the option of creating these natural, quote unquote, ginger tones. Anytime people look at this watch, they only wanna use things straight out the tube. Know that you are the artist, mix the color, be creative, and if you use Midnight Flame 7 by itself, know that it's gonna be very, very potent. Saturation is key here. Now remember, 20 volumes is gonna give us that energy. And again here, you wanna make sure you leave a little bit of money out, money piece. Just enough like that. So this is gonna be that money strand and so I'm just gonna wrap this on over, just like so. And take notice, I'm not using 100 foils. I go back to that again and again, because know that you don't have to do that. You don't have to do the most every time. And I had to get myself out of that mindset because I'm so used to doing the most that I feel like if I did a little, is that enough? Mm -hmm. Is my client gonna think that this is so easy to do that she won't respect me? Have you got yourself in that mind frame? I've definitely felt that way before, but I think after learning and going through, like evolving during- Quarantine? Quarantine. We've learned not to. You know, less yeah. is more. <laughs> less is more. So we're like, we've been working too hard this whole time. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we're gonna make sure I do like a little triangle here because I wanna make sure that we leave out enough money pieces, okay? Now, Miranda. Yes. I wanna know, what are your stereotypes of being a blonde, being a oh, redhead? Oh gosh, well a dumb blonde joke, of course. I can take one though, for sure. But I'm like a darker blonde, so. So dumb blonde jokes, where does it come from, do you think? Like why do people think that? Fear. Fear of, of what? Of, you know, just jealousy of blondes. I don't know. Oh, 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 I don't know. <laughs> Okay, wait, wait, hold up, we whine. Why is there jealousy? I, I need to know. I know, because... Do they get, I wanna know, do they get treated better? Do they get more attention? I mean, do you as a blonde? Different kind of attention. You know what I think it is? Yeah. I think it's history with like Playboy and yeah. all these things. It's totally. All, it's misogyny. It is always back. <gasps> it goes back to misogyny. Blame the men, it's okay. <laughs> I am a man. Blame the men. Blame the men. <laughs> I will take full responsibility, <laughs> not me. Okay, it's not me, but it's my species. Well, okay. we all feed into it. We are, we, it's all of we our fault. All... Stop feeding misogyny. Yeah. You gotta break the stereotype. Yeah. The stereotype totally. ends now. <laughs> right step, now. Because we're, we're, we're not having it. I'm over it. We're gonna say blondes are smart because people think they're not. So mm -hmm. we're gonna break that stereotype. Okay, why do redheads I, stereotype? Well, redheads are like, they're sassy. Where did that come from? I just, where do these come from? <laughs> these are just passed, people just talk about it and they're passed down. Well, we gotta end it today. As a brown hair individual, okay? Yeah. I have brown hair. <laughs> you know what people always say, basic brown. Have you heard that? You said yeah. that about yourself. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna call you that because you did it. Uh, uh, accountable, <laughs> it. I almost, okay, I'm not a basic brown hair individual. Yes, I am a wicked brown. I, ha I use wicked to make my hair this beautiful ash brown. And that's the thing, because when 
when we stereotype people, guess what happens? We are putting ourselves in the box. It's funny to talk about, but actually it affects our life because we start hating our natural hair color. We try to change ourselves to be a stereotype, to conform to misogyny. We think we can't do something. Dun, dun, dun. No more misogyny. No more. I'm, I'm taking off my gloves. I'm upset. I'm not putting out the misogyny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know how nightclubs will let females come in for free mm -hmm. and males have to pay an admission? Totally. Okay, what do you think? Oh God, well, I mean like, uh, I did a lot of clubbing, so. <laughs> <laughs> you like, you love going I to always free. Like, and I would go in just like a beanie and high top and like, you know. So you like the free entrance? I was never one of, the, one of those chicks that wear a slutty dress. I'm asking you, do you like the free I entrance? I love the free entrance, of course I do. <laughs> So I don't want to pay the $20 admission fee. No, no way. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I like that you're honest. But I, I, how, how do you feel when you're honest? You know I'm all about equality. Yeah, she's all, so you no want to pay $20. I'm like, if you have to pay $20. Then I should pay maybe $20. Maybe you pay $10, I pay $10. <laughs> then I'll take I spend it that way. Voters, though. It's so Die. interesting. I mean, we joke around about the conversation, but it is a serious conversation. Is, yeah. yeah, people you know, fight for equal rights. They fight yeah. for justices. So it, it goes pretty deep. Now it's time to get serious. Oh <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> all right, so her next formula is going to be around her face and on her Ends. This time, we are doing the same formula, Naked Glow 9 with Midnight Flame 7, but the difference is we are using 30 volume instead of 20. 30 is gonna give us that energy that you already gave us today. You're full of energy. <laughs> it's a very good conversation to have. The thing is, having conversations is important. Getting angry and not talking about it is yeah, when you're not. Healthy. All right, here we go. We're gonna whip this up. Here we go. So let's open her up. Take a look at this coloration. Look at how that color is processing. Look how natural that ginger copper flame of a color is. <laughs> it's beautiful. So and it's wet. So you can imagine when her hair dries, how gorgeous this will look. So even though her ends are lighter, we still need that oxygen with 30 volume. Just massage it through. I like that we already isolated the section with the mesh sheet. And so we're able to just open up the mesh sheet, get in there, apply the color and saturate through. And it is permanent color so it does expand. Look at that area, do you see that? I have a feeling that you're never gonna wanna go back to yeah. your natural Ooh. hair. Red's gonna be your new signature, your spicy it's gonna signature. It's make me pop. Okay, I wanna know your feelings. Leave comments below, where do you think all these stereotypes come from and how does it affect you when getting your hair colored? You know, we have our experiences, we heard things, we know how it makes us feel, but it's ultimately, how it makes you feel that we wanna know because I think we can all learn from one another and maybe we can all do better. And that's that. We apply this throughout all her ends and then we let it sit for 30 minutes to process, shampoo her out and we'll be back. The time has come <laughs> to pull out. All right, here we go. We're gonna pull out all the mesh. <gasps> look at this. Oh, look at this, Ariana. It's beautiful. She's gonna be such a great representation. I'm so excited. This is so exciting. Okay, we're gonna rinse this off. And it looks so natural. I can already see it. Your eyes, they're getting greener, bluer, everything. All right, you're never going back. All right, put your head in. We're gonna rinse you. If you want reds to last longer, you know, rinse in cool water. Don't go in chlorine water. Don't go in the sun. Use my hero shampoo and conditioner. This is gonna be so pretty. And remember, when the hair is wet, it's gonna look a little bit darker. And of course, when the hair dries, you can see how vibrant and light the hair looks. Ariana, I'm gonna have you take over for me for a second. It's so pretty. Isn't mm -hmm. it? Look at that. I love my hair shampoo. It gives like such a smooth lather, nourishing shampoo. And it's also important when you're shampooing your hair in the shower to focus on the scalp, massage the scalp, you don't have to focus so much on the mids and the ends. Obviously right now we are rinsing out her color, so we're gonna make sure the shampoo is throughout a little bit, but the main focus is on that scalp. And then when you apply the conditioner to your hair in the shower, focus on the mids and ends and not put the conditioner on your scalp. And that's how your hair is gonna last longer. So the second step you are gonna wanna use is a Gai Tang My Hero a X2 spray treatment. You don't have to do this, you can do shampoo and conditioner, but I love having the option of doing an extra treatment. This is something that you get to pamper yourself with. It really makes the hair feel smooth instantly on contact, close to cuticles, so your color will last a lot longer. It's like hair softener. All right, so we are gonna spray on X2 on the mids and ends, and the hair just has slip and slide, and it closes that cuticle. So now we're gonna pump out a little bit of that nourishing conditioner. And a little bit goes a long way. She has a lot of hair, but the product spreads so well, and you can feel how soft 
and the hair feels. And it detangles the hair very well too, huh, Ariana? Yes, and it smells so good. Another thing is you can spray My Hero Collagen Shield spray on her mid shop and ends to air dry or blow out her hair and also the My Hero Nourishing Cream as well. You could layer them. You would spray on first and then layer on the cream. Ariana, you ready? I'm ready. It's time for the reveal. Five, four, three, three two, two, one. <laughs> Oh my gosh. How do you feel? Um, how do I feel? You're a genius. There are no words. I mean, there are so many. You're looking at yourself in the this mirror. This is, this color, I don't even know how you were able to know that this color would hold to my natural hair color so well and look radiant. I mean, you, oh. you're a genius. Thank you. You're a genius. Keep validating me, please. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you're, you're, no, seriously, you're the best. It, I'm, and I'm not sugarcoating. I mean, look at this hair. This is. I know, you couldn't stop looking at <laughs> as you were blow dry. I, I, I started crying. I started crying. Why I, is that? I cried because I never thought that red hair would look the way that it does on me, and because you knew how to transform it in my hair. Yeah. I really, really... You thought in your head that it won't match you. I thought, it, yeah, I thought it wasn't match me. But did you look at the color of your eyes, how they pop yeah. now, and how they match your complexion of your skin? It's giving me so much life. Can you believe that I did three different formulas, like 10, 20, 30, to get this? With no foil. Seamless. No foil, it was no seamless. Foil. Yeah, this is, this is, this exceeded my expectations. She said it, not I, me. I was... <laughs> you have responsibility now. Because remember we mm -hmm. talked about all the stereotypes that Red have. Now you're gonna break them all. You're gonna let people know that you're a positive representation because we need that representation. Yeah. And of I'm feisty. And you know it, what's <laughs> interesting is that we only did five grams of Midnight Flame Seven. Yes. Five grams into the whole na Naked Glow. Naked Glow is the key ingredient yeah. here by using Midnight Flame as like an amplifier yeah. to give this. Beautiful. Look at this. It looks like she's born with it. It looks natural. Mm -hmm. Does it not look, look at her face. Does this not look <laughs> natural? She looks natural like she's born with it. I'm going out tonight and I wasn't planning on going out tonight because I look like this. Midnight Flame, leave your yes. comments below. Tell us what you think about <laughs> Miranda's new copper fiery Midnight Flame <gasps> hair. All the formulation and ingredients will be below in the comments. Thumbs up, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Spotify, Apple Music, all the good stuff. And check out all of the new Midnight Colors and NB series at Cosmoprof. Armstrong McCall, Solonary.com, that's where you can find it. Check out MyDandyColor.com because that's the website where you have all the information on the color and you get to drool over this beautiful color, okay? Can't you're genius. <laughs> that, Thank I, you. You're Thank genius. you for validating me. All right, let's head out. Ready? Let's go. let's go. Let's go. Come on, We're let's going. go. We're going to party. <laughs> <laughs>